one of the greatest examples of integrity that I've personally experienced in my own life is the Lily Mae Tillman story. It all began in 1974, <laughs> a long time ago, when I was a brand new associate. I had not achieved any success at all. I began my business in January of that year, and here we are, the 1st of August, no closings. And I was frustrated, discouraged, and ready to quit. So I prayed a really weird prayer. And I asked God to give me three valid transactions during the month of August. Now, that was really a major thing to ask for because in 1974, there was no Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae, no secondary mortgage money. So the only thing you could sell back then was an equity, which, of course, you cannot do now. So, <clears throat> oh me of little faith, I immediately enrolled in graduate school and decided I would go back into teaching and the days quickly rolled by. On the 27th day of August, the only listing I had in my inventory sold. And you know, hope began to swell up in my soul because I didn't want to fail. I had never failed at anything in my life. And I didn't want to fail at real estate. On the 28th day of August, I had a brand new first home buyer. I sold them a home, and hope really began to surge within me. I might have three transactions by the end of the month, but the 29th and the 30th passed. No buyers, no listings. On the 31st day of August, 1974, I woke up actually mad at God. Why did you give me two? Two is close to three. Why couldn't I have had three? At 10 o'clock in the morning, my phone rang. It was my office asking me to go show a property. I put on my professional clothes and went to show the property wrong house. So I showed him another house and the magic happened. They moved the furniture in, they put the kids in the bedrooms, and I cannot tell you how joyful I felt because I was going to succeed in real estate finally after all of these months. We walk out, Mr. and Mrs. Byer go into a far corner in the front yard and begin to talk. I'm very uneasy because I have no idea what they're talking about. Finally, Mr. Byer approaches me and he says, Mo, we cannot buy this house from you. We must buy this house from Lily May Tillman. I want you to say that name with me. Lily May Tillman. Now I want you to say it like you think probably I said it back then. Lily Mae Tillman. Lily Mae, he went on to say, has shown us so many properties. She's driven us around for two weeks. She's purchased lunch. She's purchased dinner. Our kids have spilled ice cream in the car. We have to buy this house from her. They drove away. I went home and cried. I had come so close, so close to succeeding. And I have to tell you that it was the lowest moment in my business life. At 7.30, my phone rang. It was Mr. Byer, and he said, we've spoken with Lily Mae Tillman and Lily Mae told us to do the right thing and buy the house from you. I wouldn't be standing before you today if it weren't for Lily Mae Tillman. I learned the greatest lesson of my business life. I learned that when you do the right thing, it changes the course of a life. 
Lily Mae Tillman became my business hero. She was an elderly Century 21 agent who walked with a cane, was quiet and reserved, but she told them to do the right thing and it totally changed my life. I didn't go to graduate school. I continued in real estate and had 35 transactions over the course of the next six months. I went on to build my own company. I eventually sold it to Merrill Lynch. I accidentally found Keller Williams and I stand before you today because of that precious, wonderful woman who was with Century 21 and told them to do the right thing. How can I communicate with you the importance of doing the right thing in changing the course of lives? Integrity, do the right thing.